Hey guys, MC Fixit here. We're going to take this Discraft Thrasher. It's a Mill Valley shootout stamp from 2021 tournament disc. Uh, it's kind of a pinkish color, and we're going to make it into a really, really sweet die. You're going to see all the tools, all the supplies. So here are those tools and supplies for you. You're going to want to make sure that you have some Dodan dish soap and water and a magic eraser. These work really well for cleaning up the disc. Lots of paper towels. Some kind of thing to move around the die. You can use bamboo. You can use big toothpicks. Um, you can even use dowel rods. Whatever works for you. Um, Acetone is helpful. You want a bunch of these little bottles that you can put the die in. They're about three ounces and the die itself will have a card right here and in the description below. We're going to use Pro Chem and dyes. These are in a two ounce bottle and last a long time and work really well for lotion dyes. And you need lots of lotion, at least two bottles of lotion and all these little things. Um, and you can also add UV dye to it as well. I'm using Spike It glow make sure it is unscented let me say that again unscented and you're gonna need about two bottles of lotion one for the bed and then one for all of your little bottles with the dye inside of it and i'm using just some cheap stuff from the dollar Tree. now it's time to go ahead and clean off your disc grab that magic eraser and some paper towels Now you're going to go ahead and set up your area so it is ready for you to begin to dye your disc. You're going to want to see how big it is on the plate. Um, it's good to kind of guess so how big of the lotion dye you need to do. I do flip it upside down just to make sure it fits good on that plate. And that gives you a good idea. It's about an inch away from the edge all the way around. Go ahead and unscrew the cap on your lotion. And I just kind of pour it out kind of slowly in a circular pattern. The goal is not to get a ton of air bubbles. Um, I will put the cap back on in a minute to kind of finalize if I do have any other areas I need to do. But I just go ahead and kind of pour this out. It's not always super pretty. Um, and you're going to get air bubbles, but the goal is to try not to get as many as I just did there. Um, but we will be taking the plate and dropping it and rotating it and dropping it multiple times, just like this, up and down. This will help get the lotion flat on the plate, but also rise all those air bubbles from down inside up to the top and I kind of do a quick little examination to see if that is what I want or if I do need to add more and this is where I put the cap back on and just go lightly around the edges pick it up and drop it quite a few different more times once I think I have how wide it needs to be you want the entire disc rim to be covered in the white dye but we're going to put dye on top of this so that bed needs to be at least that size so we can make it nice and flat so this design comes out really really cool like it's going to um, I already know this is one of my favorite ways to dye a disc now you want to go ahead and kind of clean up your area to make sure you're not going to get dye all over everything even though it's mixed with lotion it still gets all over everything and so also take a toothpick and pop any air bubbles you do see um, this is kind of important to make sure you're not going to get air bubbles in your final product, which you don't want. But also the dropping of the plate will help rise those air bubbles to the top. And a lot of times actually pop them for you, which I do like about this. But I am kind of picky that I don't have a bunch of air bubbles, which kind of create flaws. So it's good to get those air bubbles up. And now it's time to select the dyes you want. Remember, you do have a pink disc. And you're just going to kind of go in circles uh, all the way around and something to kind of move the die around. Um, I actually do kind of like to use a dowel rod every now and again. Sometimes I do cut the end of the dowel rod as well so it's not as big and hit the camera. Um, but again, you're just going to be putting it in circles. You can choose how wide and thick each circle is. Um, that's kind of all up to whatever you want to do. So we're going to use this flag blue and I'm going to make a pretty 
decent sized circle about the size of a silver dollar in the center and just kind of symmetrically try to get it as straight to a circle as possible putting the cap back on each and every time afterwards so these don't dry out also if you get any blue or any colors on your hand with dye on it wipe it off as you go um, that's always good to do and to shake up the bottles especially if they've sat for a couple of days making sure that dies so this is a green that is called meadow and I'm going to do kind of like a half circle uh, then we're going to put another dye color on the other side of the half circle I'll probably end up choosing the yellow because I do like to have colors that kind of will be okay if they do mix normally pro chem and dye does really good for not so this is got some UV dye in it as well and you see when I open up the cap I actually dropped a little bit that'll be okay we'll come back to that and fix that it later on and I am having some trouble getting this started uh, that does happen occasionally I have been sat these for a couple of days in my garage and have not had an opportunity it has been really hot so sometimes it does get on there and so that's that sun yellow got a little bit of UV dye with spike it in it um, and I'm going to take this clear orange and um, I'm going to go ahead, sometimes tapping it on the table does help as well, and I just went right over top of that yellow. I know that might seem weird, but it's a little bit darker of a color than sun yellow. You can normally get away with that, and it's not going to mess it up too much. Plus, we're going to be doing lots of swirls with this, so it should be looking really cool at the end. Um, but yeah, you're just going to kind of go, and you're going to fill it in pretty close to all the way full. Uh, we will be dropping this plate many times throughout this video, as we already have just to get any of the air bubbles out but also it will kind of lock the colors uh, into place a little bit better too and it will remove any of the different kind of lines that you see right now so don't worry too much about this at this point and you get to choose another color um, I'm gonna go back to this flag blue because I do really like this color and you're just gonna go ahead and do your next circle and so you don't have to do it as thick as the last one. You can if you want. Um, make sure if you are going to tap it, you tap it in a spot you have not already put dye down. And sometimes you do have issues. Sometimes you have to put a toothpick in and kind of pop it. And sometimes you can also take scissors and just barely cut the end off. I've had to do this a couple of times now in my videos because it just seems like it's getting a little clogged. I've thought about putting a touch of acetone in it, but I'm a little afraid to do that at this point. And so this does make it a little bit wider when you do it this way um, by cutting it but it'll be okay um, you just kind of make it up as you go as well I hate to say it that way but that's just the truth so I'm going to do a couple of circles of this and so then fill in any of those gaps that I have and this should make it look really really neat because you have that blue in the center then you have that yellow and green and then orange and then coming pansy which is purple all those colors work really well together and this light pink kind of pale disc uh, will show up very similar to what a white disc would do you're gonna get lots of pop on that colors which I really do like and then we're gonna to choose another color that you want to and this is the violet and so I'm gonna go ahead and put that around the edge kind of the same thing tap it a little bit and then just kind of continue around the edge just like you were doing and then I'm going to finish the design off with a thin line of that flag blue which is the same color that was in the center and so you may only see this around the edges of the disc just occasionally which is kind of what I want it to look like uh, it'll pull out from the center then you'll have a little bit of a touch up on the edge and so that purple that pansy color was really dark and thick and this will be much lighter and sometimes you do have to grab a toothpick and kind of poke it in like I said um, that does happen with these lotion dyes I've not fi figured out the perfect bottle yet but these bottles work pretty well and I'm reusing them which I always like to try to reuse stuff and so um, again I'm not going with a really really thick line like that purple is uh, just a nice little blue line on the end and this bottle is starting to get a little bit empty which does make the process a little harder as well if you have a full bottle it seems like it does come out a lot smoother but that's okay because that's kind of part of it and then make sure you always put your cap back on and now go ahead and start to clean up your area you can put your dye bottles kind of back clean up the different towels and paper towels that you used and clean up your hands as well and if you did spill anything you can also clean that up at this point uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the plate a few more times to flatten all of that out so it is kind of one 
consistent uh, base of dye with lotion mix. And now it's time to test one last time to see if that disc is going to be big enough to fit. And it does look like it is. That should work perfect for this dye job here. And I like dowel rods and bamboo sticks are my favorite to use. So I'm going to actually use a dowel rod, but it's going to be too big. I'm going to hit the camera. So I am going to have to cut this down. I'm going to cut it to about a three, four inch section just like that. And this will allow us to get a good thick pool on each time we go through it. You will want some paper towels. I like to put them in my left hand since I'm right handed. I'm going to go from the center each and every time and you're going to drag out and then loop back in. Wipe it each time, drag out, loop back in, back to the center and then pull up. I do know some people that like to just kind of keep it in the center. I prefer to pull it up each and every time, but you can choose to do what you want. See what works best for your kind of dies out and then back in. And you're just going to keep doing this. This kind of is almost like a leaf to a flower or uh, some kind of tree or something is the initial kind of design I'm doing here. Uh, then we'll do some other stuff too to just give it kind of a really cool effect. And you can see it, you're going to want to go all the way out through all the different layers all the way into the blue um, and sometimes you will need to add a little bit more blue to the center uh, and then you'll want to slam your plate down a couple more times especially if you're using a big dowel rod like I am I think this is a quarter inch dowel rod and so it is pretty thick it's not like a bamboo thing that's pretty small so I did kind of I guess you would say hump that up in the middle and kind of dropping it back down this will give me a new way to pull through again um, that was really really thick and so this will work a little bit better I'm going to use these uh, toothpicks right here to kind of just give me some really straight lines actually let's use this one this one does have a little flat edge on the end which is a little easier to hold a lot thinner than what we just used um, and so I'm just going to go straight all the way through and kind of continue to do this in the areas that we haven't hit up yet and this is just pulling the die through more um, especially that blue in the center, the blue will kind of leak all the way out to the edge, to the other blue. It's not going to be perfect, but uh, it will look really cool and awesome at the end. And so you might be wondering, man, these look like such dark dyes. And that is the case. As you're continuing to pull this through, you're going to be like, man, this is so, this orange is so dark, this blue is so dark, this yellow looks like mustard, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm trying to say. And with that, you do have to just realize that it's going to be a lot lighter than this and you can look at the uh, thumbnail and kind of see an idea of what it's going to look like or even fast forward to the end and then come back to this point so you know how to finish the die job but it will look a lot lighter um, these dyes are very very vibrant especially when you mix them with lotion um, so know that it will kind of tone down a little bit from that if you're working on a darker disc, do know that it's not going to be as bright if you're working on a very light colored yellow disc or white disc or pale pink disc like this Thrasher is here. And so I do like to kind of make them as kind of symmetrical, kind of all the way around the same kind of concept. Again, you're just pulling through, wiping off every time. Pull through, uh, then wipe it off. It does kind of get old and annoying, but it does help to make sure those colors are very vibrant. And you're kind of pulling that blue through the whole thing, which is what I kind of wanted to do on this. That's why I did blue in the center. So that blue will pull through the yellow, will pull through the orange and the purple. And in some spots, it may pull all the way through to the very edge, but very unlikely that it's going to be huge amounts of that. Uh, don't also forget that, that yellow does have some UV dye in it. I'm going to go ahead and put some more flag blue in the center. Um, put the cap back on like always trying to keep your work surface clean um, And we'll go ahead and drop this plate a couple of more times, but I did have some Dye on my hands that I do want to make sure I get off before I touch anything else because you are going to touch the disc in a few moments from now So picking it up slamming it down just continuing to repeat the same method over and over again really does help out also looking to see if there's any air bubbles as well as you're doing this or if there's any spots that the dye is not actually gotten to so you can see right here I'm adding a little bit of extra where that dye did not really reach to and then you're gonna pick it up and slam it that's gonna be a very common theme whenever you're doing these lotion beds and I put a little rotation as I slam it as well it does seem like it does help 
And now the final step before you are going to put your disc in is to determine where you want your disc to sit on this. Where do you want the die? And there's a little bit of green, and I kind of want that green, I think, where the trees are on this stamp. It may be hard to see on the stamp, but I want that to go where those trees are. And so you have to think, because it is reversed, exactly where that is. And I like to put my fingers on the corner, go down about a 45 degree angle. Um, so from right to left, implant the right side and let it slowly go to the left side. And if it was a clear disc, you'd be able to see the lotion move from right to left but you're unable to see that because it is kind of a thicker uh, color on this and then you're going to go ahead and push it slightly down don't put something heavy on top of it you just want it to go till the rim and then go ahead and wipe off any of the edges you're going to want to leave this thing out in the sun for at least 45 minutes it is a very warm day today so 45 minutes should go i'm going to go ahead and push down just a little bit more to get that all the way to the rim and you want that to kind of be symmetrical all the way around. And again, 45 minutes, let that thing sit. If you do have any dye coming off the edge, go ahead and wipe that up. Out in the sun, indirect sunlight is what I actually like to do for these. And it will work and it will pick up the sun. You don't need to put them on some kind of heat. I know some people like that, but it does work well. If it's warm outside, if it's winter, you may need to do that. But if it's warm outside, just go ahead and set it outside. 45 minutes and we'll be back in just a second to reveal it and show you what it looks like Around, you can just leave around the table and you should be able to 